So in this quick video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the Notes app as a whiteboard on our iPads. Now, I've used uh, this in sessions, uh, mostly with my online delivery that people are going through at the moment, but this equally is a fantastic way to utilise your device in the classroom simply just by connecting it to your existing uh, screen, um, either through projector or through something like uh, Apple TV. So I'm going to jump into notes on my device um, and I've got this set up just as a, a separate folder so you can see I can go back here and have a look at all my folders, uh, lots of different folders. I've got one just named whiteboards here. You could name your folders as being different year groups, different subjects, whatever it might be. Um, and then within that, each time you make a whiteboard, you're going to be able to just go back and, and check on things that you've done in advance. And the other thing to point out here is obviously at the moment I am actually doing this as a screen recording. You can see that the screen record function is on at the top. I've used the uh, control center in order to start that and I'm also recording my voice at the same time. And again, what a great way to support things in your classroom for your students. Now, if I was doing this live, I'm going to record my screen. Um, and so therefore, students can have that as a video playback to watch as many times as they want. And I think in terms of the remote teaching that's been going on um, during 2020 and into 2021, I think people will realise the power of you know, if I say it once, record it for the students and then allow the students to watch it back in their own time, there's a lot more, uh, you know, d development in that because they have that choice and, and empowerment on when to do things. So let's get into the app just to just to very quickly have a look at how we can use this as a whiteboard. So I'm just going to go full screen. So using these two arrows here just to go full screen. And you notice at the top here, I have a pen tool. Now, if I've got the Apple Pencil, if I just tap on the screen, it just brings up the drawing tools for me see that they appear down the bottom um, and I have an arrangement of tools I've got the drawing pencil which is this one here and if I make this just a little bit bigger on the screen you can see I can change the size of the pen and I'm just gonna swipe down you'll see that that's the, the effect you get um, I get a highlighter pen again you can change the sizes and the opacity of this which is quite useful actually if you want to highlight something we'll see what that looks like just as a line there we go and you see if you go over it more than once you kind of can build up layers Great for art as well, by the way, this, this app is just doing some simple art. Um, if you take a look at that in terms of the opacity, though, if I wanted to highlight something, if I just draw it thin, you see it, it's going to work like that highlighter pen. Next one, then, is the pencil. Again, if I make that nice and thick, this one's just got that kind of bit more of a, a scratchy feel to it. There we go. So pen on this side here um, looks a, a lot solid. This one's a little bit more see-through. This one's got that scratchy feel. And then finally, we have a rubber. Now you can work the rubber in a couple of ways. Object eraser is going to get rid of the whole lot or a pixel eraser, which is going to get rid of it bit by bit. Okay, so again, depending on whether you want to quickly get rid of something, you can just go over those things like that. Next one just to bring up then is shapes. Now, if I was going to create something for students and I wanted to, you know, highlight to them that, you know, we're looking at squares um, or triangles, my triangles might not be very good in terms of their design. So what we can do is if we draw that triangle and leave our hand uh, or pencil, sorry, on the page, it's going to turn it into that shape. So we just pause for a second and it will just gather that shape for you. Next one to look at then is this one here, which is just the cut and paste. So it could be that I've put the circle here, but actually I want the circle to be in a different place. And we can just move that um, to wherever we need it to go. And then finally, a ruler which we can use for measuring things, measuring the angles of, of things, etc., on the page. So that's your tools that you have, along with obviously a color palette, um, which is you know pretty much endless here. You've got the whole spectrum that you can choose from, sliders, changing the colors, changing your opacity, including a color picker as well. Now this is really, really useful because as we look at some of the other things that you can do with this as a whiteboard, um, we can start to develop you know different color schemes, etc. So the next thing I'm just going to kind of highlight is the fact that if I just drag up slowly from the bottom of the screen, we can go into split screen mode. Now, important to note that you can do this with the majority of apps actually on your device. Um, so really, really simple and quick way to do these things. Now, I'm just going to um, start a new search on here. Let's just have a look for a picture um, of, uh, let's say we're doing something about Romans. Uh, let's see if we just quickly grab a picture Again, I'm just working in this split screen. Let's take this picture of the Colosseum. Great. You can see, I just drag that picture across from one side to the other, and I've got this on my page. Now, it could be, again, I'm, I'm drawing attention to something. could be shapes in, in Roman architecture, etc. 
If I tap on that picture, it's going to take me into that in terms of full size. Now, it probably wasn't a great picture to, to bring across, but I can zoom into it to make it bigger. Again, I've got my drawing tool at the top. Select this, have my drawing tools on here. And it could be something as simple as just, just drawing over the top, you know, some of those shapes that we notice um, within architecture in Roman times. So it's a, a maths lesson where we're identifying shapes. Uh, it could be that we're looking at uh, there's columns, etc., whatever it might be. And again, it's all stored there for the students. Again, I'm recording this, so it's captured. But equally, I'm just using this to demonstrate learning to the students. So that split screen mode, again, really, really useful for doing that, uh, that work in those ways. So there we go. Just a brief overview of how you can use the Notes app as a whiteboard, either for live face-to-face -face teaching or if you're doing recordings exactly like this to be able to share some how-tos with students.